what prompted you to do this? I know you've given brief explanations. I understand them to say that the right to defense is a fundamental pillar of our law mm-hmm. and that that has driven your motivation. But that's the headline. Well, what's the substance? Mm. Well, a couple of weeks ago, the Supreme Court of Appeal ruled that Jacob Zuma wasn't entitled to have the costs of his legal defense paid for by the state. Yes. And he was ordered to pay back some 18 million rand that had previously been advanced to him. A week later, his legal team withdrew. While they've since given a different explanation, I accepted, perhaps erroneously, that they withdrawn because the money's dried up. And, you know, that just strikes me as unreasonable. I think if attorneys commit to do a matter and they're involved and they're engaged, you shouldn't readily withdraw. And withdrawing on, you know, such a mercenary basis that your client doesn't have the money to pay you struck me as just plain wrong. And so the, the gesture was largely a spontaneous gesture. It's just anger that, you know, lawyers will drop their clients, you know, the moment the money dries up, which I find, you know... Uh, Repulsive. I find that wrong. Um, and I made the offer. Subsequently, um, the former president invited me to meet with him, and we had a discussion. And um, and although he's not taken me up in the offer, and I won't be in court for him on Monday, um, I'm more persuaded than ever that he deserves a, a, a decent defence. I don't think he's, he's he's been given a fair shake in this matter. And, um, you know, to the extent that he might require my assistance in the future, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to provide it. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.